How many times have you been going out through the course of a day and wishing you could create a quick note using nothing more than your voice and your voice assistant? How cool would that be? Is it possible? You bet it is. Let's go ahead and jump in right now and let me show you how to get this set up on your iPad. Super cool, super useful. All right, that being said, let's jump in and get busy with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up both my notes and my shortcut applications. Now, the very first thing I need to do is create a very specific note title. And for this illustration, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one Voice Notes. And you'll see why this makes sense after we get the shortcut built. So go ahead and click done on the note. And I'll go ahead and close out that because we don't need the notes right now. I will go ahead and open up my shortcuts application. Let me go down here to my home screen where I store all my personal favorites. And let's click on that plus button up there on the top. So we can begin adding a new shortcut. Now, this is crucial. Right there before we do anything, at the very top where it says new shortcut one, click the little drop down arrow and let's rename this. And I'm going to call this add to voice notes. I can have a keyboard issue today. It's okay. All right. Now we got past my fat fingers episode there. All right. And this is important because keep in mind that your voice assistant, when you invoke her by using that magical phrase, automatically is searching for shortcuts. So with this shortcut having the name we just give it, she will know what she's looking for. Now, Let's begin actually building that out, okay? Go ahead right there in the search in the upper right, and I'm going to type in ask. And I want the one under scripting that says ask for input. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And right here where it says ask for text with prompt. Click where it says prompt, and I'm going to type in there. What would you like to add? And I'll hit enter. And just to show you that's working so far, if I click on the little play button there at the top right, you'll see it invoke a text box, right? But we don't want text because the idea of this is to be able to use our voice. So again, click all that. So what to do, what to do next? So now we need it to find a specific note. Do you remember we give that specific note a name? So up here, let's go ahead and enter in our notes. And scroll down through here a little bit. And we want to find notes. And we're going to add a filter because this is how it will know where to send this input to. So we're going to add a filter. And name contains, and we're going to type in here, voice notes. Because remember, that was the name that we actually give to the note, right? Okay, now that's all done. So come down here, enter to get rid of that. Now, the next thing we need to do is select the append to note. Right, so there we go, we got that in there. But we don't actually want to append to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap where it says notes and I'm going to clear the variable. So um, again, I'm gonna tap on where it says text next to append. And we're gonna come down to the bottom, see where it says select variable, click kind of tap on that. And now that it's got that all dropped down, I want to come up here and right below where it says ask for it says provided input click on that see how that drops out into that box and now in the to note I want to tap on the note and I'm going to choose the note I want it to use so I'll choose that voice notes right click done now let's go ahead and give this a try isn't this fun now I'm going to close out of my shortcuts Siri, add to voice notes. How are you doing today? Come back in here and check my notes again. Uh, back over to all iCloud, voice notes, and right there it is. Isn't that fun? Just as I had asked it. 
So there you go. You can see the ability of this. So now, and if you have multiple iOS devices, such as iPads, iPhones, MacBooks, what have you, because shortcuts sync across iCloud, that very same shortcut is available on all of your devices. So hope that was helpful. Get that set up and now you can start adding different trains of thought. You know, I mean, cause let's face it, we all walk around throughout the day uh, and thinking different things and we spit it out and you'd be like, man, what did I say three hours ago? Now you can record it simply using your voice assistant. Hope that helps out. Have a super day.